The man in charge of those cuts is new general manager John Robinson. Eight months on the job, it's clear it's a new regime. Robinson made blockbuster trades, getting 2014 rushing champ DeMarco Murray from the Eagles and trading away the number one pick to acquire a haul of draft picks he used to select Derrick Henry in the second round and, of course, Jack Conklin with his first round pick. And just last week, he traded away last year's second round pick, Doriel Green Beckham. I caught up with Robinson and asked just how close he got to the competitive 90 man roster he envisioned when he took the job. We're getting closer. Um, we're constantly watching the, um, the waiver wire, seeing if anybody comes available that think we can add into the mix to make us more competitive. But you know, the guys have really come out and, and bought into the philosophy that we want to be, and uh, they're competing at every practice. Both you and Mike Malarkey said you wanted to build a physical, tough-minded football team. When they came out and ran for 288 yards against the Chargers, how satisfying was that? It was one step towards where, we're, where, you know, where we want to be. It's a, it's a tribute to the coaches and, and the players for, for coming out and and buying into the philosophy and playing, you know, stylistically what we want to be. You're out here right in the middle of some of these drills, so maybe some of that toughness comes from you. As a general manager, how much do you appreciate the up close and personal time on the field? Yeah, I mean, it's good for me. You know, it's good for the players to, to see me in, involved and talking to them during drills and, and after good plays and being a positive encouragement to them if they have a bad play. So I like to interact with them to let them know that I'm there for them. You made a big move last week, trading Doriel Green back him to the Eagles for Dennis Kelly. I'm sure you never want to give up a second round pick in just his second season. So what was it that convinced you that that was a good move? Yeah, I think in, in the end, we thought it was best for the football team. You know, we said back in January when we took over that we wanted to protect Marcus and be able to run the football. And adding Dennis into the mix has, is going to help us do that. You know, he's, he's played a lot of good snaps up in Philly, started 15 or so games, I think. He'll certainly, you know, fit in and help us. You mentioned Marcus. It's hard to believe he's actually had somewhat of an under-the-radar preseason compared to last year at this time. You studied him in college. You studied him and worked him out last year in Tampa Bay. Now that you've been up close and personal with him, though, what have you learned about him as the leader of this football team? You, you hit it right there, he, you know, his leadership skills. He's got really good command, not only of the offense, but as, of the team as a whole. He commands the other guys' respect, and, and with his work ethic and his performance out here at practice, he's earned it. Lastly, John, you spent eight months building this roster. Now, over the course of the next week or so, you have to take it down to 53. How grueling of a time will this be for you as a GM? There will be a lot of back and forth discussions uh, with Mike and I and with the coaches and with the personnel staff just about fits and roles for players on the football team. Again, I think it is a really competitive roster and we've got some, we've got some tough decisions ahead.